All right, for most of us, last night's winter storm was nothing more than just a nuisance, but in pales in comparison to some of the mega storms that have hit our region in centuries past. Mega storm, yeah. Pablo, do explain. All right, Carlos, Christine, mega storms are called <laughs> actually arc storms, and they've been around for centuries here on the West Coast. And weather forecasters say we could be in for another one about 50 years from now. It's a storm that could produce $400 billion in damages and flood 25% of our state's buildings and one scientists are calling California's other big one. 1939, the only known hurricane to ever hit our area, came across Newport Beach as a tropical storm, causing major flooding and significant damage up and down the coast. I had never seen anything quite as severe. We lived in a little wooden house, and I'm telling you, we were scared. 1938, just one year earlier and much worse, a mega storm, widespread flooding, millions of dollars in damage. But those two storms were nothing compared to what happened 87 years earlier. So let's go back in time for a moment. California had been a state for just 12 years. The gold rush was just 13 years old and people were dreaming of constructing a railroad across the United States. The American Civil War was only a year old, and believe it or not, the entire population of California was just 500,000. Then the entire landscape of our state was changed when the storm of the century hit in December 1861. But this was not the first time California was hit by a so-called megastorm. We look back at the geologic record in, in sediment cores taken from the floodplains and from the coastal areas. We've seen about six or seven of these big storms. These arc storms, think Noah's Ark, happen about once every 200 years, a river of seemingly endless rain. The amount of water which, which an atmospheric river can carry, uh, they've done studies in which they look at an atmospheric river uh, roughly 200 miles wide, thousands of miles long across the Pacific. And if you compare the amount of water within an atmospheric river to the amount of water which passes through the mouth of the Mississippi, roughly 7 to 15 times more water is carried through an atmospheric river than what passes through the Mississippi River at any one time. The Great Storm of 1861 lasted 43 days. Statewide, thousands were killed. Entire communities swept away. Here in Southern California, many areas were left several feet underwater. You had a lot of precipitation, a lot of runoff that swept a lot of the villages and settlements um, away. But thanks to great advances in forecasting and technology, unlike the great arc storm of 1861, whenever the next megastorm hits, we'll have plenty of warning. We can send out tweets, uh, Facebook, we can get uh, people sending in spotter reports as well from that. So what effect would a similar megastorm have on us today? Experts say the loss of life could be substantial. Millions would likely need to be evacuated. We know that these storms do occur in California roughly every 100 to 200 years. And uh, it, they actually are as likely as a 7.8 uh, earthquake on the San Andreas Fault. And yet the damage from a storm like this would be roughly three to four times more than an earthquake. Now, not all arc storms are actually bad. Much of Southern California's precipitation comes from these types of patterns that uh, we often refer to as the Pineapple Express. But we do need to fear something like the megastorm of 1861 because currently only 12% of our state's property is insured for such a storm. Something to think about. Wow, that, amazing pictures from the past. That old oh, yeah. footage, that very great, very interesting. Yeah, it was uh, fun to do to uh, put together. The motto is be prepared and, and, and be oh, always be vigilant. What's it reminded going on? me, being from Arizona, of those mega storms and the monsoons that really hit. Yeah. Right. Just take houses. Well, we got another 50 years to prepare. Well, I'll be 80 then. That'll okay. be great. Good.